Hi, and welcome to a Mystic Dude Elden Ring video. Yeah, yeah, and I know, before I start, why well, haven't I done any videos for a bit? So, quickly to address that, just basically had nothing to do anything about. <laughs> I've just been, I've been playing games, but they've been just uh, either overexposed by other content creators. So, I've been playing Diablo 4, and everything if, with that is covered to death. And then uh, I went and played uh, Last Epoch and that ray basically doesn't have anything to show uh, it's just an absolute car crash of a game that at the moment uh, for many reasons which I'm not going to get into now so yeah so back to Elden Ring so what I'm doing today is it's had an expansion Shadow of the Earth Tree uh, and I'm going to show you the best place still to farm XP. So here we are. We're up on, on the cliffs. I'll show you where we are first. This is the approach ledge, and it's part of the. As you can see, if I bring up on me, me sites of grace list, Mogwin Palace, Palace Approach Ledge. There, I've got it marked at the bottom, and I'll just zoom out so you can sort of. Uh, Get an overview of where it is and if i'll just show that's above ground i mean i'm there on the map but we're on the underground right so there's many videos out there that shows you how to get here uh as a new character i remember having a nightmare finding it but it's a lot easier now just up this hill there's a portal uh, but you can get here as a new character. Just, I, I'm not going to get into that now. And uh, so yeah, so I check that out and find your way here. Right. So once you're here, what I would suggest you bring with you, if you have them, is gold pickle foul foot. Yeah. So I've only got one, and you can craft these. Uh, they're not too bad to craft uh, let me find out what you need I've lost it it was there a second ago oh there we go I could see because it, it was grayed out so I don't have the so yeah Raw fruit, easy to get all over the place. Uh, gold firefly, uh, again, you can find them near the uh, waters in the the early game. And the foretold foul foots, they drop from birds, so just run along cliffs near a site of grace where there's plenty of birds. Uh, shoot them and drop them. I've killed loads of birds in shadow. And I haven't dropped one yet, so they're not high drop rate. Now, there is also a new item that will also give you increased XP. I don't know if I've got any in me. Alright, so these horn tenders. So there's a gold version of this. The silver one increases item discovery. And the gold one increases runes. So watch out for them. Uh, they will also give you a boost. And then finally, uh, what you want to do is equip this talisman. So the gold scarab, again, uh, you know, do a bit of research. It, it's out there. I'm not going to do a guide on how to get every little piece of this. It will take forever. Uh, the purpose is to show you where, where to go and what's viable and the pieces you need and sometimes half of the fun of playing games like this is, is researching and finding out but they're not too hard to get again you've got a silver one for item and a gold one for uh, runes right so we're up on the cliff as you can see I've got no runes at the moment so it used to be that you would farm a bird down there so if you have if you come early on and you a low level 
this is where you come so you stand here and there's a bird down there so you just what you do if you're low level doesn't matter what level you are just shoot him and watch him he'll run off the cliff he'll kill himself and we'll get the runes in a second there we go 13,245 if I activate my pickle foot it will uh, it will give me a buff and we'll get more so I'll do that now before I go into the next part so I've only got one pickle foot so we'll have to uh, make the best of it the other thing I'm going to tell you a lot of people don't don't realise that they make this mistake when you re come to the site of grace don't select past time yeah, just select, just come to the site, rest at it like this, and then immediately out. And it'll reset the mobs, as you can see the birds there. So what we'll do, we'll use the, uh, the gold pickle. And as you can see, I've got a bit of uh, a buff on me. And if you look under me, leave me focus bar, you'll see that I've got the buff for the, f the feet. So now we're not to, uh, let's see if we can hit him. Come on. There we go. Jump off, good bird, bye bye. And this time we'll get 17,000 with the foot. So that's with the foot and then again to reset it, just rest and then exit and the bird will be back so that's the that's the level in at low level so make your way here get some cheap ass bow with any kinds of arrows doesn't matter all you need to do is hit the bird aggro him and he'll jump off the ledge and it's xp don't worry about the pickled foots if you haven't got them if it's a new tune you'll still get enough you know enough xp to, to get some levels so it's well worth your time spending here now the other thing is, once you've got our level and you need a lot more XP, is uh, you forget about the bird and it's these fellas down here. Yeah. Now they're quite dangerous on their own, but what you want to do is you want to equip a good sword that's got a good AOE effect on it. Now the one I recommend, if you've been through the game, is the Sacred Relic Sword, which drops from the the end game boss the elden beast after you kill the last boss so it's a sacred sword as you can see up on the screen now and it's got a an unuse ability it's got a skill ability called wave of gold as you can see uh, and i'm going to demonstrate that now any aoe sword will do uh use what best you've got like i said this is more for when you get higher level you know uh Blasphemous, good AOE, you know, anything long range, you know, if, if you haven't got any of these, then uh, experiment with the ashes. And the ashes you do at the site of grace. There's some uh, ashes that do big AO AOEs. Uh, I'm trying to think which ones, do. there's a hoar frost one. So, but yeah, experiment. So what what you want is a is a big AOE. And uh, let's get the elephant in the room out of the way. My new helmet. This is from the Earth tree. Yeah, it's a pot, but it's got good stats. So yeah, it hasn't got good looks. So what you do to farm the runes, you just come and stand here. There's two mobs in front of you. They won't move unless you get too close. So you aggro them. Just position yourself and then use the skill. And everything's gone. Now, there is some walking up around the corner. I don't know why I looted that, it's not good. There'll be some walking up around the corner. And you can kill these as well. And as you can see, you know, each one's worth quite a bit. Now, 
what I would suggest is don't kill they around the corner it's it just not optimal so the idea is rest at the grace exit run to here use your AOE let the points come in and then rest just be careful resting too quick before all your uh, runes have come out I have noticed in the past that if you rested too quick it won't count them all so what are we on there one horse under the six thousand so let's see how much we're getting so my pickle foot's run out but I've still got the trinket on so with the trinket I'm still getting a good 34,000 a go so yeah so 34,000 a go 30 runs more or less near enough a million depends whether you got the uh, the pickle foots or, or the uh, the new items that I showed you before I currently need 1.1 million about level 341 so uh, so yeah it's still the best place in the game hands down to farm there are some other places especially early game if you can't get here but I really would suggest opening this uh, is he dead oh. I really would suggest opening up this, uh, this grace this side of grace to give you access to here not only that, once, you, once you've got here and you've levelled up, that bird across there, I'll tell you something now, there's an invader that gives you some, I'm not going to do any spoilers, some really nice items, uh, a gear, so let's, let's see if I can... Uh, So, right at the back there, just where I'm pointing now, there's a little sort of like crevasse through there, a walkway. And as you come through and you get to about where I'm pointing now, you'll get invaded. Uh, the problem is that other bird, which I'm pointing to now, if you can just barely see it, will attack you as well. So it's a lot of fun. And there's, there's ways of getting there. Uh, so you just run down here. That path. And straight to the bottom and turn left. There's also a little cutout in walls at sides worth exploring. So yeah. So it's a good site of grace to pick up for many reasons. Uh, so yeah, I hope that's helpful. I hope it helps you get lots of XP. And uh, for now, let's stick it out.